man can do for a woman that's off a previous relationship. Clear the energy, make it pure again. But if you're going in, knowing that you're leaving her down a garden path and it's going to ruin her at the end of it. Why? Because you'll just walk away from this. And when you walk away from her, you're going to take all that powerful energy that she's invested in you and leave her with this, which is going to drop her to a face and take months and months and months to repair while you just swan off onto the next bed and do exactly the same. So you're a rat. And if you're saying you're not a rat, you're just not seeing sense. And you're at fault, not the one that ends up with the worst consequences of your actions. As I say, and it works both ways. Works both ways, man and woman. If the woman's coming in fake and that man's getting besotted, you're going to ruin him. Stop it. Do you understand what I mean? Make it clear from the beginning. You just... You know, don't try and get into some relationship with them. Give them the option. It is what it is, mate. Do you want to just bang, bang? Or do you want to... You know, other option. Do you want to bang, bang? I've got a wife. Don't start leading this hell down a crazy path because you won't have a wife. Why? Because this bear will be that much in love with you. She just won't let it go once you're off. She would have spent boosters on you. She would have invested all her energy in you. She probably would have housed you for years of your life. That's what most girls do when they fall in love with you, they spoil you. If you haven't got a girl that's spoiling you on a daily basis, it's pointless being in it. Same with you, girls. And I don't mean spoiling you with materialistic bullshit. You know, making you smile on a regular. Making you have a little giggle here there. Chase you around the house with the pillar. Throw you on the chair. You know, a little buzz. If they're not bringing that into your life no more, it's over, isn't it? You know, you're meant to be in a loving, happy relationship with someone. If it's not loving and happy, relationship doesn't exist. And a lot of us stick in there for the kids. But the verbal, the energy, the vibe in the environment that you're creating because you aren't in tandem, if you like, has a massive psychological effect upon the kids. And as adults who think they're old enough to have a drink and... You know, if you're under the same roof with someone and the feelings aren't, like, mutual, it's just animosity. And that animosity around your kids create, creates murder in the future. Insecure kids. First thing kids start thinking is, are they to blame? Are they fine because of us? And it just, yes, yeah, Becky Ramsey. And it just hinders everything, doesn't it, in the future? We've touched on a few things this morning, haven't we? All awareness, obviously. None of it hateful. I might have spoke hard of saying to some of you about certain individuals, but it's only out of turn. It's not full of hate. Do you understand? It's only out of turn because you've got a different perception, a different opinion. To me it's in turn, to you it's out of turn. But there was no hatred there. It's not hate. Where is your Netflix documentary? I haven't got a clue, mate. It's not my Netflix documentary neither. Probably make another one on me on the slide. You've got the contents. Got hours and hours of contents off me for that panorama documentary that I've done. It's being took off, I think. Probably. Yeah. I don't know why, because it was getting pure, 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 pure views. And for Netflix to take something off, that's not half as bad as all the others on there. They must have plans. And what could the plans be? I don't know. Another documentary with Darren G in it. 
because let's have it right the majority of the people that went to watch the documentary went to watch the documentary because Darren G was on it and that that's not me being like up my own arse and that's just me looking at facts a lot of people went to watch that documentary on Netflix because of me simple as that so I do bring the numbers in don't I and that's what that's what that sort of um, area of concerns all about the numbers it's all about the numbers isn't it in this game it's like I've got a fret on my lip not even that sunny out that's what I've noticed on my body I'm starting to get lots of frettles Weather is improving slowly, mate. I know I can't wait to can you that. Every morning the sun's out, isn't it? But then it, it goes to fuck. 16 up here, that's sunny for Scotland. Jeff on the nets. Yes, Connor, are you good? When are you getting your other arm tattoos? I'm not, mate. I'm trying to get these tattoos took off. Can't wait for some essays, Laura. I believe the symbols and the signs that we've been led to believe represent Christ, represent something else, so we want them off my body. As said, how are you, mate? You good? That was the battery that I'm on 10%. I lost my phone charger, didn't I? I mean, my phone holder, so I can't. Yes, yeah, Kirky boy. I can't just keep my phone on charge now because I can't stand the phone up. Now I've got three boxes and it's wedged in. So I can't put the charger underneath because it doesn't sit right. So I've just got to go off, mate. I'll have to wait until the end of the month, get myself a new phone thing. End of the month. Sick of it, people. It's not nice, mate. But it's got to be done. Through these, through these times of hardship, you know, a lot of things come to fruition later. Yes, I said, Gogsy, shine, shine, yeah. Yes, builder, Sammy, getting hungry now. Bang some chicken on. I've been at eggs for ages. Got loads of eggs, just haven't had them for days. Don't know why he went off them. You know, when you eat too much of one sort of food consistently for like months, and then one day you just go, fat, not eating them again. Bang, 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 bang. Easy D. What's happening? Are you cool? Yeah, they should be wearing. Um, lip seal or something, shouldn't I? How red they are. That's like, like my lips are burnt, aren't they? What's doing that to me lips? D says you need some Vaseline on your lips, does. Hmm. You need some on your lips too, girl. Carmex, what's that kid? What is Carmex? Lulu's Nana, what are you all laughing at? What have I said? No, it's me, she's all fun. Carmen's saying chapstick. Yeah, them chapsticks with the ones lies, they strawberry flavours and that. Use the browser version of it on your computer, save your battery. I know I should be doing some reaction videos and that, shouldn't I? Putting people straight. See all these idiots tapping into it. They, they, they can't even react properly. Huh? I can't believe he's just said that. Shut up. If you're going to react to something, react to something for reacting to instead of a gang on TikTokers. Yeah, Shelly. 
No, okay. Kissing nurses doesn't. Whatever that means, kid. Every nurse is worthy of a kiss in Liverpool, lad. Even the old nurses got her own little way about them. Obviously, you wouldn't go there, but you'd admire, you know, the fact that they keep on top of things with themselves. And it's one of them old things, isn't it, that all young boys have as they're growing up. You know, that fantasy of the nurse. You know, the nurse with the glasses on the end of her nose. No. Then again, these days the boys have got fantasies of the doctor with the glasses on the end of his nose. Trust me, that's scared happening out there right now. You've got 15 year old boys going to doctors and fancying them. Fucking madness, lad. Like How are you, Ross, lad? Are you cool, mate? Good stuff, lad. Eight percent people get your questions in. Feel like some biscuits. As the Yeah, so I'm probably dehydrated, mate. CJ saying, what's your go-to biscuit? I don't know, I love all types of biscuits, to be honest. It'd have to be in a... Um, I don't know, the ones I found the most filling was chocolate hobnobs. So I used to get them and a pint of milk. I went from cookies and milk to like digested some milk and then hobnobs appeared years later. So like an oat biscuit, oat biscuit with milk, mm, you can't beat it. Lost that phone, she had that phone holder, you know. Of course, it just makes everything sound more difficult without it. 